posted a video a couple minutes ago of just uh, my portals and how they were working. This is kind of a follow-up video that I just kind of thought, you know, I'll show how that functionality works in Game Maker 2 in case anyone was curious. So over here, I have my portals, so I have portal 1 and 2. I have them different, slightly different with uh, animations, so they're in my portal object. So I have portal enter and portal exit. Under the player, I have code for, right now they're attached to E and R. So right here it's set up as a simple. If object this portal enter, destroy distance portal enter. And that's just so I don't have two. So when I push E to create this, it's going to destroy any other ones of it there is. Also have instance create layer here. So I have mouse X, mouse Y, instances, and portal enter. So as soon as I hit this, when I do a collision, or sorry, where my mouse is, is where this is going to be created because it's mouse point X and mouse point Y. And it's going to create portal enter. The same thing set up for portal exit. Go to that. Same thing with portal exit, we just replace the word portal exit. And then in our collisions, if instance exists, portal exit. So if there's an exit, we can go to moving player X to portal exit X and player Y, player's Y position to portal exit Y's position. Also have instance destroy enter the portal entrance. So that we don't have a whole bunch of entrances around and the game doesn't know where to send us. At the exit, all we have is instance destroy other because as soon as we collide with that, we just want it to destroy it. And all I did with these is because I have uh, instance destroy self. So I put an instance destroy self on them on a collision with my solid objects. And that's just because when you make a portal on top of a solid object, you can't really teleport into that without destroying yourself. So I wanted the portal to just get destroyed to avoid that.